Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks to everyone uh, who joined today. Uh, thanks to Microsoft for, uh, for inviting us uh, to this amazing event and giving us the opportunity to present our application. Uh, our team of four had the privilege of participating in the Microsoft uh, Teams Global Hack together with my teammates Yuri, Alexander and Margis. Uh, we came up with the idea of creating an app uh, which would make uh, daily work with documents easier for those who need it with their professional and personal lives. Uh, so here's Doc Assistant, your shortcut to hassle-free document instant answers. Uh, understanding that reading lengthy manuals, technical documentation can be tedious, uh, time-consuming task, we decided to create an application that will simply um, simplify your uh, daily routine um, of reading, analyzing uh, length text, uh, long text, um, searching for an answer uh, in a lengthy manuals um, instead of you uh, with the power of artificial intelligence. Um, with Doc Assistant, you can easily upload the document you're working on uh, in any format uh, and ask the board uh, any specific questions regarding this documentation and get the accurate answers uh, within seconds. Uh, currently, Doc Assistant uh, can work with PDF, Microsoft Word and Excel files, uh, text files, images in such formats as uh, JPG, JPEG, PNG, and so on, uh, as well as Markdown readme files, uh, GitHub repositories, which can benefit the developers working with tech documentations as well. Uh, Doc Assistant is available on uh, popular messaging platforms such as Microsoft of Teams, Facebook Messenger, Telegram Messenger, and Skype. Uh, let's take a closer look at the Doc Assistant's capabilities. Um, uh, let's imagine you move to a foreign country, not being very confident with the local language, and you need to deal with the daily documents such as bank agreements, lease agreements, and so on. Uh, so you can simplify uh, your daily life uh, by, for example, taking a photo of the document you need to understand, upload it to the board, and ask any questions, even in your native language. Uh, here, for example, we took a Polish uh, bank agreement uh, in a Polish language, and uh, let's try to ask it um, what are the conditions for termination of the agreement. For example, uh, my assistant can ask uh, it in their native language, uh, which is Ukrainian. Um, you read? Um, uh, here is it uh, with the precise um, answers, uh, so you won't uh, need to manually translate it, um, uh, but still can get the precise answers. Uh, let's check how it's working on another platforms. Uh, the next example is with PDF file provided via link. Uh, yes, you can whether upload a, um, your PDF file as is, um, like a regular PDF file sharing it uh, within a conversation uh, or share the link to any file you need. Um, the document uh, we are trying to uh, test is the uh, student visa in Poland requirements and um, yeah, here it is. We will share it with the bot and ask some questions. For example, uh, what are the documents required to obtain a national visa for the students um, in uh, Poland? Um, couple seconds and maybe, yeah, you uh, got the uh, exact list of documents you need uh, to uh, apply for visa. Um, as I mentioned earlier, board is working not only with PDF files, uh, but also with uh, Microsoft Word files, for example. Uh, let's check how it works uh, with uh, Microsoft Word file. Um, and now we move to the Telegram. Um, yeah. Um, it's a lease agreement demo, uh, and we, for example, can ask the bot, um, what, uh, is the subleasing allowed as per the agreement? Um, let's check. Again, okay, one more case. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, the answer that uh, it's going to be with the consent of lesser, uh, which is uh, the exact information from the agreement. Uh, uh, again, it's a very useful uh, thing uh, for the folks abroad or just uh, any of us uh, who doesn't want to read uh, long agreements, documents, but still have pre precise answer. Um, and for the dessert, uh, how the dev community can benefit from the doc assistant power. Uh, 
we can share uh, the Markdown README uh, link. Um, with this, uh, now we're uh, showing it in Skype, uh, which also supports our uh, application where we have bot. Um, and uh, we shared uh, the .env module uh, link. And let's ask, uh, for example, uh, what is the purpose of uh, this module? Um, yeah. Two seconds. Uh, we can also ask uh, how to install uh, the module and uh, receive the precise guideline. Um, step by step one. Yeah, here it is. Um, you can just extract uh, the information you need in a couple, maybe a bit more seconds. Uh, we cannot work on this. Uh, of course, we presented more uh, more of the personal use cases. Uh, uh, however, the application can also benefit to any professional working with the documents on their daily uh, basis, uh, such as lawyers, tech support engineers, developers uh, with the tech documentation, uh, basically any uh, uh, professional or uh, personal stuff you uh, need to solve with the documents. Um, I give the floor to my teammate Yuri, who uh, would uh, uh, tell you more about the tech side of the application. Thank you. Okay, let's start talk about uh, Azure resources that was used on the project. In uh, the process depicted in the diagram, the web API sits in the middle and doing the main business logic. The messaging apps like MS Teams, Facebook, Telegram, and Skype send payloads with messages or files to Azure Bot resource and this Azure Bot function as an adapter, translating the messages into a format that Bot framework can understand. When linked to a Git or MD file received, the GitHub API retrieves the necessary information from public repositories, uh, readme files and other markdown files and put them to storage. If payload contains a file, uh, the Azure OCR form recognition AI uh, model goes to work, extracting uh, parsing text from the image or file. In storage account, text save it with tag uh, and unique name that corresponds to conversation session with specific user. The stack uh, is then used in live in life cycle management for in in storage account which delay uh, which delays the uploaded documents after seven days all the data collected from document will be used in context uh, in azure openai for future conversation with the bot and uh, to answer user uh, queries by using feature of bot builder user and conversation state user have access uh, only to documentation that he upload. Thanks to prompt engineering, uh, we, uh, we were successful in fine-tuning the model to respond slowly to questions uh, to question to the documentation, along with setting up the variety parameter. Azure OpenAI have very nice and easy interface where it's possible to, tens, uh, to test and configure the model uh, subsequently, we were able to integrate the configuration generated by Azure OpenAI into our bot by extracting setup in, in JSON. Uh, this gives a possibility to split task and work uh, and work uh, with for separate, separate people. However, challenge we encountered was the uh, absence of built-in tools to reuse the Azure OpenAI configuration in code. No less, we found a simple solution by creating a similar C-sharp model and by serialize, deserializing it in order to accomplish it. I create a builder to aid me creating a prompt. This will be employed in the primary dialog for each request. Uh, GDPR limits uh, the duration for which the user documents can be stored on the server, give it the additional uh, additional documentation is associated with the conversation state, and we needed more. 
we needed more flexibility for our storage. The flexibility of pod framework and dependency injection allow us to rewrite the storage logic by implementing the iStorage interface. My approach involves taking a file for TTL, time to leave a setting for that files are automatically cleaned from storage after seven days. Additionally, users have the ability to easier clear their own files by using clear command in the help card by corresponding a suggestion message or by typing clear in the chat. To ensure our resources aren't exhausted and our users are not impacted, we use uh, C Sharp uh, Deep Dev Tokenizer Lib. This library is C Sharp design of uh, the, the C Sharp design of Python tokenizer library. It can count the number of tokens per request, and each user can monitor their token usage and document page processing by calling state command. We currently have uh, have a limit of six uh, k tokens for the document work. But in the next release, we plan to eliminate this restriction or improve performance by using te various technologies. I have found uh, the common uh, concept. Uh, I found the common concept providing PMS Teams, Telegram, uh, and similar application to be impractical. Every time a uh, user wanted to ask question question about documents, they were required to enter specific co comments. To address this, I implement a simple approach that offer users suggestion for each bot message. Those actions are intrusive and are displayed about the text box within, within chat, making them easy accessible. Another option is, uh, to, is use the hero card within the help card that lists uh, available in Teams. Previously, we have four distinct comments of each different document types and URLs. In our latest updates, we involve more streamlined approach by combining those functions into a single comment. This new comment utilizes regular expression to identify the type of document uploaded a link and then uh, executes a appropriate action to process the documents. This change not only simplifies the process, but also make it more efficient. Uh, you can access uh, chatbot by link in our website, pressing on icon uh, Skype, MS Teams, Telegram, and Facebook will be soon before finalizing the last steps of validation in Meta. Concluding our presentation, Doc Assistant project, uh, I want to express my um, uh, my screen's uh, gratitude for our uh, attention and support. We are convinced uh, that the future of our startup promises many interest opportunities and achievements. We have already joined to Microsoft's uh, startup founder hub where we find new ideas and opportunities for project development. Our plan include, include expanding uh, the functionality of other pl platforms, create web service, adding ability to process bigger documents and work with many documentation documents and documentation simultaneously, which will make our product even more useful for our users. I would like to extend my heart left gratitude to each of uh, each one of you who have contributed to this project. Special thanks for Anastasia and Alexander who have been uh, instru instrumental in the development and testing process and in the creation of organization of number documents and our website. Their contribution have enabled us to publish our bot uh, on platforms such Facebook, Teams. Telegram, and for also like to acknowledge the incredible Hackathon team who collaborated with me to bring the initial version of this project to life. Mm -hmm.